everyone, Sachi Magazine today is in Beverly Hills to see one of the most famous plastic surgeons in the world, Dr. Robert Ray. He's best known for his TV show, Dr. 90210, and also Dr. Hollywood in Brazil. Olha, meu Deus, Hello. eu amo essa menina, eu amo essa moça. A gente trabalha faz quanto tempo, Giselle? André, since 2005. We've been working together since 2005. We've done lots and lots and lots of episodes. Season together. It is a love-hate thing. I have the wickedest crush on this girl. However, she is the only producer I have ever thrown an implant at. Oh because she drives me so hard, but I still love her. For SatchMagazine.com, we're gonna show you a tour with Dr. Ray. We are in his office right now and we are very, very excited, Ray. So welcome to my crib. <laughs> this is where I spend most of my time. Through here then, it starts the fantasy. Come, come, come. All women dread. Now come in here, you guys. When this door locks and I lock it, and that dress goes down, falls to the floor, uh, the secrets start to pour out. Now, my girls, got fed up. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna show this room, which is this is the show off room. I write a two-page column for oh, uh, Life and Style every week. And so uh, all the celebrities are very Dr. nice to Ray. me. If they don't, I criticize them on the magazine. I came to America when I was um, 11, 12. I'm uh, very proud of my uh, Brazilian culture and my Brazilian roots, but I'm proud to be American as well. And because uh, America is the country of opportunity, I've been able to rise to the rank of the best well-known plastic surgeon in the world. Where are you from in Brazil? Sao Paulo, Brazil. Sao Paulo, capital. You graduated in Harvard. And I graduated from Harvard. Yes. Welcome to America. I wanted to ask a question special for Dr. Ray. He came out of Brazil when he was little. He came back and he formed, he became a great celebrity. When he came back to Brazil for the first time, he was a star, a star. What happened? Look, I was a thief in Brazil, a marginal. So I was robbing the stores, more or less, two or three times a week. I was carrying a revolver, a revolver very old. It was only a revolver, and it was a 22 caliber. It was a 22, right? A 22 caliber. It was a 22 caliber. It was a 22 caliber. Era 22, né? Uh, 22 caliber. Então, foi assim que eu saí do Brasil, né? Uh, correndo da polícia, foi assim que eu saí da Lapa. Agora eu volto do Brasil, fui convidado pelo Lula para jantar com o Lula. Muito chique. Então eu saio como ladrão, <risos> perseguido pela polícia. Agora eu volto como convidado do presidente da república. Então, uh, é interessante como 30 anos pode mudar tudo. <risos> Muito estudo, muita fama, muito sucesso. Graças a Deus, né? Sabe uma, o meu, meu segredo? Olha, eu sempre paguei meu dízimo. Ah. Eu sempre, quando a, bandeirinha, a, a bandeja passa na igreja, eu sempre coloquei o dinheiro. We're gonna do like a pop quiz. Okay. I say it, Vamos you lá. answer. Vamos say lá. you answer. So, what is a beauty for you? Uh, after undressing 30,000, the most beautiful girls in the world, their parts, their little parts, are very simple. So no longer is an issue of parts. It comes down to I much rather, if I was single, I much rather jump a sexy girl than a pretty girl. Beautiful woman. Who is it? No Brasil, claro, Adriana Lima, né? Mas nos Estados Unidos, I think Katy Perry. Katy Perry is Katy one Perry, of the most I beautiful think she's women. Very sexy. I think she's very, very beautiful. I think sexiness is better than beautiful. What a dream. Eu gostaria de ser presidente da República do Brasil. Uh, in the United States, my dream is to be governor of state California. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, now, a hobby. What do you like to do? Okay, my politically correct hobby is, of course, I do martial arts. I'm a ringside physician for the California Athletic Commission, so I'm a judge at all these big fights. Uh, and that's a politically correct answer. My politically incorrect answer is that I plant all the roses in my house. 
But shh, you do? Don't tell anyone that. <laughs> Dr. Ray, besides be a doctor, a businessman, he also a dad. How many kids do you have, Dr. Ray? I have two. I have a boy and a girl. And uh, the most important thing, when it's all said and done, when this brief mortal journey is over, uh, and I turn in the chips, the most important thing is, hopefully, that I was a good dad. Uh -huh. And you have a beautiful wife, too. Oh, my wife is the hottest thing ever to walk on earth. And she's smart as can be. You know, I smile when that red light goes on on the camera, and I cut pretty. That's it. My wife runs all of our companies. This was our exclusive interview with Dr. Ray. Some message to our viewers here in America? Uh, a cheerful. Be cheerful on the inside. Uh, happiness is a choice, you know? You can be gloomy. Scriptures say that if you, are you live life gloomy, you'll be gloomy in the life to come. Choose to be happy. Uh, you know, these little downturns in economy, uh, every uh, dark night is followed by a bright morning. And so, sometimes things are a little rough. Don't worry, be cheerful, and everything gets better as long as you work hard. And remember, if you want to be successful like Dr. Ray, you got to follow his steps and just watch this interview again. Right, Dr. Ray? That's it, baby. Um beijo, a gente fica por aqui. Kisses, kisses. And I see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Ray from Dr. 90210 from the Thor Hollywood. And you are watching Sechi Magazine, Sexiness on the Web. Sexiness on the Web.